Hmm. Design your own lightsaber, must you? The Force is calling on you to come up with some new designs for lightsabers. This is today's challenge. Hi, I'm Glenn. While Yoda keeps watch for us, your task is to learn to draw cylinders tumbling or laying down in each direction. Charles has done that and he's off and racing on his first design. Hi! Mm -hmm. Strong with the pencil, are you? Grab your splat, pencil, eraser, ruler. Let's get started. Begin by placing a dot somewhere close to the center of your page. Hold the splat straight up and down and put the dot right in the middle of this ellipse. We're tracing just the bottom half. Next, mark off how high you'd like your cylinder to be. I'm using the height of the splat as my guide from the ellipse, go up to the blip. Here's the slide on a ruler method. Place the splat back in the original position, put a ruler against one edge, and then carefully slide straight up. Stop at the mark that we drew. And now draw in one full ellipse. That's the top of the cylinder that you can see. All we need to do is carefully join the sides and we're done. Remember, keep these lines light. They're only guidelines at this stage. Take a break for a sec. I want to show you something called a top view. Think about what you'd see if we were looking straight down on the glue stick. We'd see a circle. This line that I'm drawing is called a center line. And that's the center of where my cylinder is going to tumble or tip over to. So looking from the top, my cylinder that's lying on its side now would really appear to be a rectangle. Engineers and designers use a dot dash line to represent center lines on plans. Now back to our 3D or isometric drawing. I'll be showing you how to draw a right and a left center line. Turn your splat upside down, put the point on your very starting point, and then mark in lightly two center lines. We're going to need them a bit longer, so I'm using a ruler to extend that line. The glue stick will be lying down on that center line. So here's how it looks. We're going to draw half an ellipse at the bottom and a full ellipse at the top. Your ellipse has two plastic marks molded on and those marks are to place on the center line. When you've done that, draw in just the back half of the ellipse. Put a mark on the center line, however long you'd like your cylinder lightsaber to be. Then position the ellipse on that mark and draw in the full ellipse. Here I'm using a ruler to join the tops of the ellipses. On 3D type drawings, we usually remove the center lines. Here I'm redrawing just the little parts that I've erased. Tumble in all directions, must you learn? Okay, got it Yoda. Let's draw the glue stick tumbled over in the left direction now. Using the left center line, we'll need to use the left ellipse. Remember those two marks? They go along the center line. You've got this. Don't worry if it takes you a few practices. There's my starting point. Line up your ellipse guides with those black lines on the center line as well and draw in half an ellipse. Find the front of your cylinder. I think we'll go a little bit longer on this one. So there's my mark. So again, line up those black marks on the center line, slide it forward to your mark and draw in the full ellipse this time. Here I'm joining the um, ellipses with a ruler and there's my cylinder. How easy is that? Here's how to tumble cylinders away from you on the isometric lines. We're beginning at the original starting point. So find that dot and mark in two isometric center lines. Extend those using some really light lines. Remember, you'll be rubbing them out later. So nice light center lines. If you get confused, which ellipse to use to trace over to start this one, then try all of them. How does that look? Hmm, let's try this one. Maybe, let's try this one. That one seems to make more sense. You'll get a feel for it when you've drawn a few cylinders. So I'm drawing in the full cylinder this time because I'm seeing the back of the cylinder. And when we slide along to our mark, I'm drawing in the very far half of the ellipse.
Next let's tumble it over in this direction. Which of the three ellipses would you use to start your drawing right here? Here's the one to use because the black lines will sit on our center line. That's why it's so good to draw a center line before you start drawing anything that's in the shape of a cylinder. Let's review which ellipses we use where. Use that one for vertical axis, left axis, right axis. Now that you've drawn your cylinders lightly, it's time to get started on your designs. What I'm drawing here is a stretched version of a cube, which you already know how to draw. Remember with a cube, that's step one. Step two, slide up and draw the two edges. Step three, rotate and draw the far edges. Go from the corner and then from the other corner. Where they meet at the back is the far corner. Here's a small circle I'm sketching on. Come up with your own details. Here's a classic look. I'm drawing a series of marks. They could be any measurement. Just for ease, I'm using every half centimetre. I'm leaving a little gap between that one at the back. Now here's how to draw lots of ellipses all in a line. I'm going to use the ruler for this one. So I'm drawing in lots of half ellipses. If the ruler moves, it'll start and curve like a banana. So maybe the center line method would be better after all. Anyway, uh, I'm working my way along there and there's my wider gap one. That's going to be a gap in the lightsaber. But notice how I'm bringing the curve all the way around, then slide back and draw another half ellipse. So what that is on the end so far looks like a little disc. Let's join it with two short lines and then a smaller ellipse joining them. And now it looks like the disc on the end has been joined and is now part of the lightsaber. Remember to draw your lines lightly and only um, darken them in at the end. Even after you've added the colour, come back and darken in. There's the lightsaber turned on. And um, you could go, oh, oh my goodness, it's got a letter D on the end. Whose lightsaber could this be with letter D? Here's a clue. I'm drawing some little grooves that go along the lightsaber and then disappear around the corner. I've just pulled these ideas out of my head. You can copy mine to learn the skills, but ultimately you want to start designing your own little details and switches and knobs and shapes and gaps and grooves. Um, take a look uh, on Google and lots of people have drawn lightsaber designs. There's another source of inspiration for you. So good luck everybody with your designs. If you'd like to send in your designs, we'd love to see it. Ask your teacher or parent to um, tag us on Insta or Facebook. The details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's look at how you could add color or render your design. Here I'm using a pastel. You could also use a little bit of colored chalk. Use a piece of paper as a mask to cover the lightsaber and then just lightly wipe on the pastel. Do the same thing on the bottom. What color will you use for your light energy? I'm using a number one cool gray art marker. I'd use um, probably just a gray pencil. If I didn't own any art markers, seriously, pencils are great. Notice how it gets darker as it goes around down to the bottom, and that makes it look more rounded. You can do the same thing by pressing lighter or softer with a, a grey pencil. Don't forget to go right around the outside of your drawing with a darker line. This is where you get to fix up your lines a little if they're a bit wonky. I'm challenging you to draw three other lightsaber designs, the ones that are following the different axis. I am so proud of you. Remember, the only people who don't make mistakes are the ones that don't try drawing anything. So from a galaxy far, far away, I'm Glenn. Bye for now.